so sewers we are at my new joann's grand opening saturday morning and the first 50 people in line get a gift card and as you can see the line is not super impressive but i'm number four my sister's number five we're getting ready to go in at nine o'clock so super excited to see the new store and i'm going to share it with you today the store is opening oh we're going in we're going in it's exciting stuff. She got to, she got to. Do you want to grab a buggy for us? Hi. Hi. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get in. Hi. Thank you. I'm Matthew Okay, and we're gonna be heading over here to the apparel section because that is where the fabrics we like to sew in are hanging out. All right, so we got a, a store map coming in and there's some coupons or sale prices that are going on here through the 31st, which is just tomorrow. And then this is the map of the store and we are gonna be concentrating on the fabric section and things related to sewing apparel. So we're gonna start over in the apparel fabric, work our way through to the back, to the patterns and notions, and then maybe we'll browse the rest of the store just a tiny bit so y'all can see what it looks like. So we're at the very beginning of the apparel section. bunch of the satins and formal wear kind of specialty fabrics and then coming into this middle section is more of the seasonal collection so obviously these are the the new fabrics coming out for the fall which are 25 percent off right now if you are at this store actually this may be like just general so um it doesn't specify that it is for this location only so here are some more of the seasonal fabrics, um, some spring fabrics left over that are door busters today, and let's keep walking. They've got some flannels here. There are more wedding type fabrics here, more special occasion fabrics. Um, the cool thing is that now there's organization. So they actually have the fabric names under the kind of category. So this is all bridal. It has tulle, crepe, lace, satin, organza, all fabric names. So that will help you find what you were looking for. There's some more um, special occasion fabrics down here. And what I want to show you is they've got this cute little display here for a rainbow sequin skirt that's shown there. They have some patterns that they're recommending that you could use to make this skirt. And then check it out. They've got a whole bunch of fabrics down here that you could also use. So that's really cool that they put all of that together and kind of have it as a display. And I suspect this would be changing out periodically. Moving into this middle section, we have woven specialty cotton so once again we've got the names of the fabric listing which makes me super happy so we've got eyelet gauze and seersucker you've got all the fabrics here the information is still on the individual bolts but because of the way they've done this you can actually look at your pattern walk around the store and say okay i need seersucker for this pattern let me go touch that fabric and see what it feels like and they've got it organized all over the store like this so it's really really exciting here are some um shirtings this is just kind of called general woven fabric one thing i'm excited about is that they actually have athleisure fabric at this store which if you have any of those kind of patterns it just says athleisure fabric on it and you may be like i don't know what that means well it's this heavier knit that is you know athleisure fabric so when you feel it you'll know it you'll recognize it from your favorite brands and it is now in its own section and there is a ton of it which is super exciting the last row of those center uh, stand displays are linen and linen looks they've got all those fabrics all together 
really displayed nicely so it's easy to find things by color and then right next to it is all the denim they have in the store which is also super exciting and it's just I'm so happy about this organization system like I can't even tell you oh, it's gonna make it shouldn't totally change the way you can go sewing especially if this is the plan for the new stores knit fabrics are here in the front and you've got the knit solids and the prints and then you've got silky prints further down there coming back around the other cool thing is that they have like all the apparel fabric together and then you have more fabric and then you can keep going down and it's all categorized so the apparel stuff's all in the front making it super easy to find instead of having to wander around the store and figure out what is good for making clothes these are the cosplay fabrics, which are quite spectacular. And there are a lot of them. They got this vinyl, their brocades, their metallics, all kinds of really cool stuff. And it's all super, super organized through here. So if you're into cosplay, um, be sure to come by the Meyerland store if you're in Houston and, and check it out, because this is really cool. They've got patterns down here. It looks like somebody bought that one um and then they've got like little inspiration and brooding you on and project ideas and it's just really cool i mean like it's it's just really fun the way that they've done this these are some witching hour costume fabrics you know halloween is just around the corner and they've got a great selection here as well and then moving down you've got costume fur and dance fabric so these are super stretchy and then you've got glitter bug which apparently is its own category of festive fabrics on the other side of the aisle is a bunch of cotton and it's like kids mix and match oh no this is all apparel but more for kids so it's kid friendly prints some of these are knit some of these are plain weaves and then you've got this little helpful notion stand right here in the middle so you don't have to walk all the way to the back of the store which is also super helpful these are all the flannel prints. So obviously Joanne is getting ready for fall and fall projects because it is in the 90s outside and standing in line this morning was very warm, but you can see that there are a bunch of flannel fabrics through here. And then over on this wall is quilts, crafts, and more. So these are all the licensed character fabrics. Um, they are also on sale right now for 40% off. And it's just everything you could possibly want. So they've got, you know, Disney, and they've got sports teams, and they've got, I don't know, Nightmare Before Christmas, and all kinds of stuff. They've got The Office, and Cheers, and Ghostbusters, and Scooby-Doo. It's pretty fun. So we are on the wall along the side of the store and we've still got more fur. We've got a whole section of minky in a variety of colors. Then we've got nursery fabrics for babies um, and fle fleecy ones. We've got plain weed ones and then we go back into the apparel or clothing and there's netting in the store, there's some metallics, there's velvet and this store just has everything you could possibly want. And another cool thing they did is they've got these tables in various points of the store at the end of the aisles. So you can lay out your fabric, really take a look at it all on the bolt, you know, make sure you really like it, lay out your pattern pieces, and it's just another awesome thing that they added to this brand new store. So after we get out of the apparel fabrics, we're coming into the quilting fabrics. This entire wall is Keepsake Calico, which is a fabric that you can actually use to make clothing as well if you want to. So Calico is one of those older fabrics that has been around forever. Think Laura Ingalls Wilder, Little House on the Prairie. They use Calico for dresses. They use Calico for quilting and home furnishings. It's like the original multi-purpose fabric. One thing to keep in mind if you are going to use quilting fabrics for clothing is that they are mostly 44 inches wide, so you might need a little extra yardage. Patterns for sewing apparel are 45 inches wide and 60, which are not the same as with quilting fabrics. This is the quilting cotton section of the store. It is easily five times larger than the section at the old store. And we've got quilt crafts and more. This is your licensed character fabrics. We've got holiday fabrics. We've got your boutiques. 
and premium cottons. I love that it says peace, love, and cruelty across the top. That is the wall we just looked at a little bit earlier. And then over on the aisle to my right are novelty cottons. So this is the home fabric section. It is the interior fabrics that you can use for home decor. They've got vinyl, they've got curtain material, upholstery material, and this was like a teensy tiny section in the old store, so they have really expanded this out with a lot of options. One thing I wanted to point out is that they have neoprene and scuba fabric, which you can make clothing out of. So this would be great for beach wear or, um, you know, kind of athleisure that's a little bit heavier or water-based. And I just wanted to point that out because the previous store did not have this. And I think that is super cool. And one day I'm going to make something out of it if I want to make it in pink, blue, or black, because that seems to be their only color choices. So the patterns are all in these cabinets. You've got these nice wire racks for display. The seating area is super awesome. At the old store, there was just two chairs and like a table about half that size. So this is super comfortable to be able to sit here, browse the patterns and find bargains. The Vogue patterns are on sale currently for $5.99. So if you'd like to sew Vogue, it would be worth checking it out. We've got more taller cabinets over here which are really pretty and just like a fun way to display things so you can just kind of walk by and see which patterns you like and what strikes your fancy so we've got all the apparel buttons here organized by color which is super convenient and then they have all the different types of buttons, which they explain for you in this helpful display. So if your pattern says something specific and you aren't sure what kind of button you need, you've got all that info right here. And then if we continue down, they actually have all of the button sizes. So if you have a button and you don't know what size it is, you can match it up on this handy chart and then buy more buttons that are the same size. At the end of the button and pattern aisle is the thread section, which is just gorgeous. I'm loving this. I mean, they have all these different brands. Everything is on this huge wall here. It is all colorful and pretty, and it's making me super happy. It's going to be some bias tapes in a variety of color, and we've got some rip rags, some flexi lace hem tape, good stuff like that. Then we're gonna get down to the zippers, and wow, this is really quite incredible because this is about four times the amount of zippers they had at the old store. You've got all your all-purpose zippers. They have the different lengths here that you can get them in. Then you've got invisible zippers, which are my personal favorite. And if your machine doesn't have a zipper foot, have some little handy ones you can pick up here which is also very cool but oh my gosh these are so many so many zippers the invisible ones are at the top the regular ones are at the bottom and then you've still got all your sport zippers down here and a variety of colors and lengths now we're at the notions aisle so you've got all kinds of good stuff they have a whole display explaining the different snaps and fasteners i'm loving these little display signs that help you find things because I think that when you're learning to sew or if you're just getting back into sewing you may have forgotten the names of these things and that just helps and we're gonna move down and they've got velcro elastic and um, bra cups if you need some of those for swimwear so it's just really super organized there's the thread wall again and then we have machine needles and all kinds of good stuff so Here's another one of these display signs, basically telling you the different types of hand sewing needles, or it also does in machine needles. So got all the information there for you. And then we've got pinning and sewing tools, marking and measuring tools, more helpful display signs. So this store is all about helping you find what you need and explaining things if you've forgotten. So this is the new pinning section. It's really awesome. They have like numbered areas for each person to cut. There is a uh, cut bar screen up there where they can flash your name and it, it's just a really expedite the process. Once there's more people here on a busy Saturday, you need a lot of fabric cut. And then if we look at this wall, this is the Fisker's Tool Shop. They have all your rotary cutters, they've got scissors, they've got cutting mats. Everything is super well organized in this store and it 
just makes me happy to be here and just be here. The super cool thing about this store is that there is a creator's studio. So they give classes. Apparently you can rent uh, Cricut and there's a long arm apparently that you can rent. I don't know where the long arm is. It may not be here yet. And you can come and use this as free studio space and also take classes here. So this is really a big thing for us because the usual Joann's or the old Joann's did not have any space for this kind of thing. So the fact that this is like right in the middle of the back part of the store is quite exciting. Even though I'm not a big knitter, I only make scarves, I have to share the knitting area of the store with you because it's so colorful and well organized. It makes you feel like you're in an actual knitting store and not at a big Joann's. So they've got all the colors up there. It's just, it's so pretty and it's just like, Another thing they've got in this store that they did not have in the other store is like a really thorough sewing machine display area. So you've got sergers and then you've got fancy machines and you've got quilting machines, embroidery, and then you've got all the different um, bobbins and feet that you would need. They have a dress form in person. I believe you can order this online and pick it up in store. I'm not sure how good it is, but it's better than nothing. And then we have all of our sewing machines over here, which are also really cool, and some of the irons as well. I hope you've enjoyed the tour. I've given you a quick overview of the fabric section of the store, which is my favorite part, along with the patterns and notions and everything that you need to sew clothing. Of course, there is the whole other side of the store, which has jewelry making, crafting, scrapbooking, baking, everything else you could possibly want in a large superstore. I will see you back at So So Lounge. I'm gonna open my swag bag and show you a few of the things I picked up today. store. So first off, I have this sweet Joann's water bottle, which is just plastic, but it's super cute and it'd be fun to just use in my sewing studio. And then I got this giant thing of yarn. It is, I don't even know what this is. It's some kind of a giant yarn thing. Apparently you can make a hat with it because there is a lot of yarn in here. So I'm always down for a good hat with a pom-pom on top. And then last but not least, ah, it's my $10 gift card that I got for being in the first 50. And actually I was number four, so that was pretty exciting. Um, it was very hot this morning, so we were pretty excited when they opened the store about five minutes early. So that is my swag bag. So that was fun to get that and totally worth standing in line in 97 degree weather for an hour. And then I did pick up a few things when I was at the store. So both patterns are on sale for $5.99. And so I got a couple. These are not for me. These are for my friend um, because they have been on her wish list for quite a while. So that's one of the things I got because they were such a good price. And then I got this super cute sewing mug. It says, sorry, I'm sewing because, you know, you can never have too many cute sewing mugs, right? So that was another thing I got. And then I picked up some tracing paper also for my friend and needles because you always can use sewing needles and it was a buy three, get two free doorbuster on Notion. So that's always winning. If you have to buy something extra, sewing needles are always a great option because it's pretty much something you're gonna always use. And you know that they're expensive. They're like $8.99 a pack for these little packs. So saving money where you can is always important. But what I got that I am most excited about that I have not been able to get forever 
are British sewing magazines. Now, if you have not ever had the pleasure of reading a British sewing magazine and they have them at your local store, go check them out. They are a little pricey. Sew Magazine is like $20.99. Um, this is another one I got. This is Simply Sewing and this one was $19.99. The cool thing about the British sewing magazines is that they come with patterns. So this one has two simplicity patterns in there that are special for Sew Magazine. Um, this one has some patterns in it. I do not know what's in here. It's like this whole envelope, so it's all nicely packed. So we're going to save that for today. And I am going to open these so you can see the goodness inside. So let me start with the Sew Magazine. The last Sew Magazine that they had at the old store was back in November. I have been looking for them since then and never been able to find any. So um, what do we have? So we've got this cute dress from Sew Magazine, which is in conjunction with Simplicity. It has a raglan sleeve, gathered ways. It's got pocket options. You can do alternate color sleeves. So it's super cute. Um, and it is in sizes, I think they have a pretty good size range on these. Oh, six to 14, so I'll be at the top end of that, but it'll still fit. Oh, and then this is a top. I can only see the very top edge of this, so I wasn't sure if it was a dress or what was going on. So this is a top set in sleeve, three length variations and pocket options. Oh, and if you look on the back, it is kind of gathered across the yoke in the center back. So that's another very cute thing. And then you've got your magazine and it has the dress from the Simplicity pattern. And it looks like these are the tops that are from the other pattern. So fun stuff. I'm going to look forward to reading through that a little bit later. And then this is the Simply Sewing. And this is apparently the UK's number one sewing magazine. So unlike here in the States where the only option for sewing magazine is threads, which is still kind of hit or miss in my opinion. It's not my favorite sewing magazine. These are really fun. They actually use people to model the clothes. So they actually are in human sizes as opposed to really big garments on little skinny models and then everything kind of looks weird like in Threads Magazine. So let's open this and see what we've got in this one. Okay, so these are their own patterns. This is a pleated dress. And apparently this is an exclusive pattern from the Sewing Bee, the Modern Wardrobe, which is kind of fun. I have not had the pleasure of watching the Great British Sewing Bee. I do not get that channel, so I have to figure out how to watch it by streaming or some other way. Um, so this is a pleated dress and that is gonna be fun to make. And then I also have, oh, it's a litmus jacket and it is, this is PH7 patterns and it is a his and hers apparently so we have both options in there and then we have the magazine and more fun stuff and I, I love reading these magazines I think it's really fun if you are in the UK and you can get these magazines I'm totally jealous because I have to wait until they show up hopefully the new Joann's will be carrying them regularly if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click like and subscribe to my channel so you never miss a stitch. Until next time, happy sewing! Don't go! There's another great video coming up next. You're definitely going to want to watch this one.